Welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you June favorites. I can't believe it's already halfway through the year. Where has the time gone? <laughs> um, it's great. I love this time of year. It is a little hot in my house, sadly. Uh, we do not have AC, but you make do with what you've got. But I love this time of year. You start to pull out your tank tops and your shorts, and it's just more sun more often. California is unpredictable anyways and we usually have sun so I can't say that we bundle up too often. Um, some of my favorites this month are, one of them is a repeat, I'm sorry but I just have to spread the word about this. It's that amazing. I will never live my life without it again. Um, it's the Micro Petty from M Joy. I think in my uh, review of it I said emoji for some reason, I'm so sorry. But I will link that video down below in case you're interested in seeing the full review on it. This is just like taking a nice smooth sandpaper to your heels and after it's done you have baby butt soft feet. Um, if your heels are really bad, I'd give it about a week before you see full results. Uh, but it is definitely worth it. You can find it at Costco. I got mine on QVC.com. You can also get other colors besides the purple one. But I really, really highly recommend this, especially if you're like me and you love wearing sandals because your feet just get drier. There's no moisture there. You know, it happens. But I love this, especially during summer. Um, my feet, even with me using the M-Joy uh, Micro Petty, they still tend to peel a lot. Um, it's just something that happens from spring to summer time kind of like a snake that sheds its skin. It's gross, I know. <laughs> um, but I put this on at night. This is the Dr. Scholl's For Her Foot so Softening Balm with Shea Butter. It smells like eucalyptus and lavender. It smells wonderful. I rub it on my feet and then I kind of goop it on my heels or any other dry places or anything that seems to be um, the skin is peeling and put a sock on and by the morning it's all absorbed my feet feel great, they don't feel oily or greasy, and they just feel really nice and smooth, so I really high, highly recommend it. It is a very thick balm, just looks like that, but it just smells nice and eucalyptus-y and relaxing, especially at nighttime, um, and it's just super, super moisturizing, so I really highly suggest getting this if you have dry feet, or if you're like me and your feet are kind of peeling and you just want to kind of hydrate your feet. This is amazing. So, kind of along the same lines of dryness during the summer, um, this is the Disappearing Trick uh, Cuticle Eraser from Essie. I got this at, um, I believe, TJ Maxx or Marshalls, one of those, and I love this. My cuticles, you know, they stay pretty good, but around this time of year, same thing. The heat just, you know, dries them out more and makes them not look as pretty. So I definitely enjoy having a cuticle remover rather than just picking at my cuticles. So the part on here is soft and then just this liquid comes out. You just put it right on your cuticle and then wait about like 5 to 10 minutes and then your cuticle will be really soft. You can almost just like peel it off. Um, what I do, which is another one of my favorites, is I have these little clippers there like you get from the nail salon. I love these babies. They get so good just right where you specifically want them, really small areas. Um, you can also get the extra skin that kind of hugs your nails and sometimes you, you know, you get hangnails and stuff like that. So both of these I really, really enjoy all year long, but especially during summer to make sure that your manicures are looking really nice. And then to keep my nails nice and my cuticle beds nice, I have been using this oil. This is tips from, uh, I got it from QVC too. I got a couple little bottles like this and it is the Incredible Protection System, which is tips, and then nail conditioner. So what you do is it helps to make your nails really soft and bendable. Um, I don't put it all the way up my nails right now because I'm trying to get them strengthened and I'll show you what I'm using um, another time to get them strengthened up. But I do like it for just an overall, like, taking care of your nails. You can put it over any of your nail polishes. You, If you don't have nail polishes, you can put it on. You can also put it um, almost to a little past your knuckle, and it will just help condition those cuticles and just help your fingers feel really nice and soft. So you just 
take the brush just like this. It's kind of like a nail brush. And then just wipe it around your cuticles. And then just take your finger and just rub it in and just mo moisturize your nail in your cuticle area. So I really like that this time of year as well. My last favorite, which is probably no surprise, and I will link my Get Ready With Me and my review of it if you're interested down below, is the Lorac Pro Palette 2. I have really been enjoying this. I've put it to the use a couple times, little smoky eyes. Um, one time when I went out, I made a more deeper eye with the plum, but it just looks like this, and I'm really enjoying this palette. Um, it's not... It's not as good as the one. If I had to choose between the two and the one, I would still probably choose the one. It's just a little bit more versatile and a little bit more um, easier to work with. The only shade in here that was just a little disappointing was the navy. It was just harder to blend out, harder to make a nice clean look with. But I'm really enjoying this palette. And my favorite is, like a lot of other people, is the rosé. Um, I said rose originally. I didn't notice the little hyphen over there um, but it's so rosé uh, the silver is beautiful the cool gray the nectar I mean it has really great colors and if you don't know all of the top row are mattes and all the bottom rows are shimmers and this just came out last month so it hasn't been out that long I would suggest getting it but if you can only pick one I would choose the Lorac Pro original which comes in a black case instead of the gray case so it looks just like this it's cardboard case but it's black and that is all my monthly favorites for you I hope you guys are having a great July so far and that you guys stayed safe on the fourth and I'll see you in my next video bye everybody